You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven's is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adebue, the General of Ourself, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. This commentary intends to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 10th day of October 2024, and our topic for today is Love for God. Please let us pray. Our faithful Father, our dependable King, we thank you Lord for your loving kindness. Thank you Lord for being good to us. We come before you today with gratitude. We say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. One more time Lord, we are asking that your word would minister life to us. Please speak to us today. Help us, Lord, to have hearing ears, obedient and understanding hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Matthew chapter 27 verse 37. Matthew chapter 27 verse 37 reads, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37. Our text for today is from the book of Psalm 63, with reading from verse 1 to 8. Psalm 63, reading from verse 1 to 8, reads, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Psalm 63 verse 1 to 8. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is love for God. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that occasionally I wonder, do I still love God like I used to? Was there a time when I loved him more than I do now? In the past, many of us were willing to do anything for him. We were hungry to please him at whatever cost and give to him even when we had next to nothing. I remember the days when we used to have Bible study leaders retreat and we would take offerings. From the offerings, you would know that if the congregation had more, they would willingly give more. One brother gave his belt because he didn't have any money to give. How is your love for God now? Is it greater or less than it was before? There are people who, when they got born again, could dance vigorously during praise and worship, not caring if anyone was looking at them. Now they can't even shout hallelujah at the top of their voices. No matter how big a fellow is, he or she is still nothing before God. If a person is too big to dance for him, he can decide to show that fellow how small he or she really is. One day I asked God, Lord, David did a lot of terrible things, even more than Saul. Yet you said David was a man after your heart while you rejected Saul. I know that you are not partial, but I am curious to know why. He responded, what did David do? In 2 Samuel chapter 6 verse 14, I replied, he danced with all his might. Then he said, can you show me a place in the Bible where Saul danced for me? That was when I really knew why God rejected Saul. It is not so much about dancing, rather it is about the heart of a man after God has raised him. David's love for God increased as he went higher while Saul's love reduced as he went higher. Which of these two are you? If a believer's love for God is reducing, 
such a believer is not far from offending him and that might result in God rejecting the fellow. If you don't believe me, read Philippians chapter 1 verse 9 to 10. It reads, And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment, that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offence till the day of Christ. May your love for God keep increasing for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. And we say a mighty, powerful and resounding Amen. God bless his word to us today. Hallelujah. Our topic for today once more is love for God. You would agree with me that man whom God created is an emotional being. He has the capacity to love and man expresses love today for different things. For some individuals, they love their family so much. For some others, their job is their top priority. Some love success, titles and awards more than anything else. However, in today's study, we are talking about love for God. Although scripture already makes us know that when we get to the times in which we are right now, the love of many will wax cold. It is sad but true as we can see the level of the love for God which people have influencing various aspects of their lives. So because the love of God in the hearts of many men has dwindled, we see various kinds of evil today. One great lesson we learn from today's study is the fact that as believers, our love for God should be ever increasing. As sons and daughters of God, the level of our love for God should never have a better yesterday. As we progress in our walk with Him, it is expected that our love for Him will be on the increase. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us He used to ask Himself the question, Do I still love God like I used to? I think that is one question that we should all ask ourselves too. Do we really love God like we used to? Do we still have that burning passion for Him? Can we still go any length for Him? Or are we now matured believers? bigger than we used to be yesterday, and probably we think we are now more knowledgeable than we used to be. As believers, no level or extent of blessing should be big enough to plant pride and arrogance in our hearts. Sadly, for many of us, before God brought that big breakthrough our way, we were always in His presence. We loved Him. Everyone knew we loved God. But today, the story is different because we are now busy, we now have legitimate excuses in quote. He increased us and our love for him decreased. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. We are made to understand from today's study that no matter how big a fellow is, he or she is still nothing before God. No matter the height he lifts you up to, no matter the extent of visibility he gives to you, no matter the level of influence, no matter the kind of wealth he gives to you, no matter the kind of abundance he brings you into. Remember that if he is your source, then it is only wise that he should also be your sustainer. Hallelujah! In today's study, our Father and the Lord also makes us understand that if a believer's love for God is reducing, such a believer is not far off from offending him. This is a very important point we should always have at the back of our minds. A man whose love for God has dwindled is not far from offending him already. That man will not think much about obedience to God. It will not matter much to him. One of the proofs of our love for God is obedience. In John chapter 14 verse 21, our Lord Jesus Christ speaking there said, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. So our love for God is not only expressed by weeping in church during the worship session. Our love for God is not only expressed by rolling on the floor. Our love for Him is expressed primarily in obedience to Him. Now the verse we just read from did not end there. It continues to tell us that, And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Hallelujah! When you demonstrate your love for God to him in obedience, you would be drenched in the showers of his own love too. 
The same scripture continues to tell us our Lord Jesus Christ speaking there that he will manifest himself too to that fellow. The Amplified Version tells us, I will love him and reveal myself. I will make myself real to him. Hallelujah. When your love for God reduces, you can be sure that that love has been transferred to something else. So watch out to ensure that you are not prioritizing something else over God. It is important for you to sometimes take a step back and scrutinize your life. How has the trend of your love for God been? Has it been up and down, on and off, consistently declining or consistently on the increase? So many people today are praying to God for various kinds of breakthroughs. Some are even making all manner of promises. But God knows that if that breakthrough should come true for some, that would be the beginning of the end of the relationship they have with Him. So when we are asking God for something, it is important to ensure that we are not only trying to use Him, that our intentions and our motives are correct and that they align with His plan and His purposes. Today I would like us to bow our heads and pray. We would be asking the Lord, would say, Father, please let my love for you abound more and more every day in Jesus' name. Why not ask the Lord today for an ever-increasing level of love for him in Jesus' name? The psalmist in our text for today said, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul tested for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, the passion to love you like my life depends on it. Please grant unto me in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please help me to never have a better yesterday in the history of my love for you. Ask the Lord today that our love for him will always be on the rise, will always be on the increase, that our love for him will take over our hearts, will take over our minds. Let it influence our actions and even our words in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that even as it is expected that the love of many will wax cold, let that not be our own portion. Let there be an exemption for us in the name of Jesus. Why not ask the Lord today, say, Father, as you continue to lift us up, help us that our own love for you would also continue to multiply as we go higher in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that with every level of blessing, every level of increase, will come multiplied love for him in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that no blessing that he would bless us with will be powerful enough to kill and to destroy our love for him. Ask the Lord today that we will love him more than things. We will love him more than money. We will love him more than positions and titles in the name of Jesus. Begin to bless the name of the Lord, thank him, honor him and adore his name for answers to prayers. Father, we are grateful, King of glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our everlasting Father, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you for preparing and working upon our hearts to love you above any blessing that may come our way. Please grant us the grace to never get tired. Please help us to love you till the very end. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Matthew chapter 25 down to chapter 26. We also want to thank you and sincerely appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 80 9861122. Do well also to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 23 of our Open Heavens devotional. We will be singing Take My Life and Let It Be. As we go for today, we receive the grace to love God lavishly on an ever increasing level in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. We love you greatly. God bless you and bye for now.
I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.